Hello and welcome to the HD Auto Challenge. I'm your host Shubhadeep and if you've been very curious about electric vehicles but have been waiting with bated breath for BMW to enter the fray, well today is that day because BMW has launched the iX flagship SUV. To speak uh, to us more about that and the car, we're joined by Vikram Pala, he's president of BMW Group India. Vikram, thank you so much for speaking to us. Congratulations. My pleasure. On what appears to be a fantastic looking vehicle. Thank you for that. And you're right, it is a fantastic looking vehicle and, and we're really excited about it as well. I think it's a momentous day for us to launch this vehicle in India today. Before we get into details about this particular vehicle, tell me something about the thought process of going electric here in India. So I think electric for BMW has been an agenda for a very long time. So if you remember, we launched the i3 worldwide uh, in 2013. Uh, then we brought the i8 into India in 2015 as well. So we've been working on electric agenda for a very, very long time. And if you look at it, a couple of years ago, we announced that we want to provide a power of choice to our customers, okay? So that the customers can choose between a power, uh, which is driven by either petrol, uh, diesel, uh, plug-in hybrid, or a fully electric vehicle. And for that, we're gonna have 25 electrified products in our range worldwide, which uh, by 2023. Right. Okay, so so there's plenty of options from us, and this is our first kind of declaration to the world that this is a new way of mobility where sustainability and premium goes together. May yeah. I regard the global market, the global push for electric vehicles to be a little different from what we are seeing here in India. Yeah. There is in terms of options, in terms of price bracket, in terms of infrastructure, which is very important. In the case of BMW's push towards electric mobility here in India, is it a case of peer pressure? Because some of your rivals have already got products. They say they claim that they are enjoying a lot of traction. Or is it just something that's inevitable? A BMW electric vehicle anywhere in the globe and here in India is inevitable. So, so like I said, for agenda has always been there for electric, right? And we declared maybe two or three years ago that we'll have 25 electrified products across the world by 2023. So it's nothing new for us. And we have always said in India also, we'll bring every electric product as long as the infrastructure gets developed. And today we are launching the iX. That's the proof that, you know, iX will be available in India. Deliveries from April 2022. But it doesn't stop there. Within 90 days from now, we'll launch the all uh, electric mini as well. And 180 days, we'll be launching the first sedan electric, which is the i4. So there are three options going to be available for our customers within 180 days. And I think that proves that BMW has the largest offering of products available for our customers. Right. So three products, 180 days. That's but right. You're starting with a bang. You're starting with a <laughs> flagship SUV. Of course. Uh, is it because of a general preference towards SUVs cutting across all segments? Or um, I, think, I, think, I, think, I think for our customers, the preference is kind of equally divided. So we sell as many SAVs, as we call them, sports activity vehicle, and as many sedans. So I think that's a good balance there for us. But the reason we're launching the SAV first maybe is more because, if you remember when we launched the X5 originally, we created a segment. We uh, you know, defined what the benchmarks for the cars are. And that is, again, something that we're going to do. We're going to define, again, what an electric vehicle needs to be like. Because normally a big car, people will say, yeah, but the performance, you know, I'm not sure how it'll be. Now imagine this big car, which is full five-seater SAV, right? Spacious inside, has a great power, can do zero to 100 in 6.1 seconds, wow. right? So the sheer driving pleasure of BMW remains, and that's what we want to prove to the world. Even an SAV in an electric format can deliver sheer driving pleasure. Right. How is the luxury electric vehicle buyer different from uh, luxury buyers who are still opting for internal combustion engine options? I think the buyers are similar. I think I think it is the motivation why you're buying electric, right? So either you're buying it for environmental reason, for sustainability reason, or you want to be a trendsetter. So I think it's more the mindset that the customer is looking for. I totally believe that the initial buyer that we'll get will be the pure BMW buyers. I can see that already. Good. So yeah. You, so do you expect people who already own a luxury vehicle possibly own a Would be would be normally normally they are the ones who adopt to new technology further. But I think the base, basic response we are getting at the moment is everybody is so curious because nobody can imagine such a big car. Uh, the, probably this is the you know biggest car in the electric portfolio available in India probably right now, and it's going to be really powerful as well. So I'm really excited that you know there'll be many more people who don't look at SUVs today might be looking at that as well. Fair enough. The IX and the future products planned that brought you from the company yeah. all, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, all coming by CBU, right? Uh, at the moment, yes, they'll all be CBU. So what are the prospects of uh, local production for electric vehicles? There has been a lot of talk about import tax. Some some people have called for yeah. the government to reduce the tax, you know. 
give some sort of impetus to local manufacturing for electricity. So, so um, local manufacturing, you know, obviously, if you're to manufacture something locally, you need to invest in it. And that investment needs to have some base volumes. Okay, so we've been producing in India locally for the last 15 years. Okay, and then we've been producing all the models that we sell in India locally as well with 50% localization. I surely believe that in future we can locally produce these as well. Of course, these are new technologies at the moment. For example, the battery technology is fairly new. Those technologies are not available in India at the moment. Okay, so to fast track the production in India, you need to fast track the demand. And from our perspective, we never say that let's reduce the impurities forever. We don't ask for that. We ask for a very reasonable and pragmatic approach. We say, let's fast track the demand so that the production can be fast tracked as well. Let's not wait for things to happen in the next 10 years. Let's make that happen in the next three years if we can. And to do that, let's give a limited time window of exemptions on the duties so that the demand can be created. Or we give a limited quantity window for reduction of duty so that the demand can be fast tracked as well. So fairly pragmatic approach, but irrespective, like I said, I promise that we'll launch every electric car that is available globally here in India. And 180 days, we launch the next three cars. Fast track the demand. And clearly, this product right here, from what we've seen, yeah. uh, has the potential of doing exactly that. That's true. Thank you so much for taking the time out and speaking to HD Auto. Um, for all of you who've uh, not yet, you won't really see the car in the flesh and know the details, we have the video out. So please do check that as well. For now though, Shubhadi, signing out.